I took some footage of the moon tonight with my Nikon P900 and I thought it'd be neat to see some amazing facts or hear some amazing facts about the moon according to a article written in National Geographic. Uh, number one, the moon began with an explosive collision. The prevailing idea is that the moon was formed in a violent event between the proto-Earth and early stage Earth that was much bigger than it is today. Modern research seems to confirm that the moon is made of material from the early Earth's crust. Dubbed the Giant Impact Hypothesis, this collision is believed to have happened 4.5 billion years ago and would have been 100 million times larger than the event which wiped out the dinosaurs. Another interesting fact, which would be two, fact two, it used to look much bigger. The moon started out around 10 times closer to the Earth than it is now. Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing the moon 10 times bigger. Computer simulations suggest that the moon could even have been 12 to 19 times closer at a distance of about 20,000 to 30,000 kilometers compared to 384,000 kilometers today. And it is still spinning away because a transfer of energy from the rotation and tidal bulges of the Earth, the moon gets 3.78 centimeters further away each year. That's roughly the same rate at which your fingernails grow. Fact number three, moon dust smells like gunpowder. There is a lot of dust on the surface of the moon and the Apollo astronauts found their suits covered in it when they climbed into the lunar modules. One astronaut on the Apollo 17 mission likened it to the smell of that of gunpowder. The dust caused some astronauts a kind of lunar hay fever. The sneezing and congestion took days to disappear. The good thing is there is no wind to blow it around. Fact number four, surface temperatures reach boiling point. Because the moon has no protective atmosphere, the surface experiences extreme temperatures from incredibly cold on the far night side and above boiling on the sunny near side. The moon's temperature can span from 123 degrees Celsius to negative 233 degrees Celsius. It means surface temperature is 107 degrees Celsius in the day and negative 153 degrees Celsius at night. Fact number five, those craters can unlock space history. Without an atmosphere, the moon is not protected from meteorites. So it is full of craters which really help us to explore the natural history of our solar system. There are 190 identified impact craters on Earth, with many covered by water and vegetation. But there are millions on the moon, including 5,000 larger than 20 kilometers in diameter. Because the surface of the moon is dormant and it experiences fewer geological forces like volcanoes or erosion than Earth, it neatly stores pristine evidence of ancient formations and craters that make it a brilliant laboratory or archive to help understand our solar system. Fact number six, you always see the same side of the moon. Just like Earth, the moon rotates around its axis, but because the rotation lasts about 27 days, roughly the same as the 27.32 days that the moon takes to orbit the Earth, you only ever see one face of the moon. This phenomenon is called tidal locking or captured rotation, and it means that the other side of the moon was completely invisible before the space age. Whereas the near side has lunar Maria, large dark plains which often cover impact basins, the far side is more cratered and rugged with a thicker crust and less evidence of volcanic activity. Fact number seven, the moon causes tidal bulges. Put simply, tides on Earth are the result of bulges in the water caused by the gravitational forces of the moon. 
Essentially, the moon pulls up water on one side of the Earth, but on the other side, where its gravitational forces are weaker, the water bulges in the opposite direction. The bulges move around the oceans as the Earth rotates, causing high and low tides around the globe. Because tides are also influenced by gravity from the sun, without the moon, we would still have tides, but they would be smaller. Fact number eight: Scientists have discovered moon water. India's Chandrayaan One mission discovered water close to the poles of the moon, and NASA found water in the soil. It's not much for one cubic meter of soil. You might extract a liter, but it increases the possibility of one day building bases on the moon. Fact number nine. A lunar eclipse saved Christopher Columbus. The Nebra Sky Disk, a bronze artifact dating to 1600 BC, which was discovered in Germany, is the first known human map to include an image of the moon, and it is a reminder of how much the moon has influenced human history. The moon even saved explorer Christopher Columbus from starvation. After consulting his almanac. Columbus used the lunar eclipse of February the twenty ninth, fifteen o four, to frighten the native Arawak Indians on the island of Jamaica into giving him and his crew food. According to his son Ferdinand, at the sight of the eclipse, the Arawaks, with great howling and lamentation, came running from every direction to the ships laden with provision. Fact number ten: Lunar bases are on the horizon. Although we are centuries off, large numbers of people living on the moon, it is possible that we could soon have scientific bases there, similar to Antarctic research stations. NASA is hoping to return astronauts to the moon by the late 2020s. Planetary scientists believe a base could have lots of uses, from improving the search for organic material to establishing a radio telescope, which would be shielded from the Earth. To better listen for extraterrestrial signals, the moon's surface area is as big as Europe and Africa combined, so we have only scratched the surface. And this was ten amazing facts about the moon from the National Geographic、um, in their space edition on the fourth of January of twenty nineteen. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know all those facts about the moon. I didn't. I, I know I like to zoom up on the moon when it's visible without any clouds in the sky because、um, it's a good specimen to focus on. And there's many different theories about the moon. I say some say it's holographic. Some say it's a Dyson sphere. Some say there are bases already on the moon.、Um, some say that the moon is a living entity. Some say the moon is just a projection up there in the sky, but with everything being said, it is obviously up in the sky. No matter what some person or some people may consider it to be, and we can see it. We can see it, you all. We can see the craters, millions of craters on the moon, and、um, they say that you know. They could have bases on the moon, just like at Antarctica. Wouldn't that be interesting, you all? Although there are some who say we already got bases on the moon. So I guess in time, we'll find out a little bit more about the moon. But in the meantime, you know, it's up there for us to zoom up on with our cameras. We can take videos, we can take pictures, and I like zooming up on it. I do when there there's a clear sky at night, and.、Um, Got a a nice camera to zoom up on. My Nikon P nine hundred is pretty cool. It's nice to look at. It's very familiar. We've seen it all our lives. So um yeah, it's like part of the family. So um, <laughs> with that being said, um hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you. Thank you for watching. <laughs>